there's silent room. Marconi wireless radio to send a message. Set the power to the uh, sender amp to on. Check the breaker. Make sure it's set to transmit. Set tuner to correct frequency. It'll blink when the frequency is reached. Send a message. To receive a message, it'll blink. All right. I mean, that's pretty straightforward, but I can appreciate that they wrote those out. Set tuner to 200 kilohertz to receive a message. Tuner settings vary from 600, 800, or 400. Okay, but 200 is the send frequency. 6.30 p.m. latitude, miles southwest of us. Three large bergs, five miles. There you go. How do we know that? So we've got someone. Uh, okay, yeah, Greek steamer. Passing icebergs, large quantities of field ice. Yeah, maybe uh should pay a little closer attention to that. Westbound steamers report bergs, growlers, and field ice. America passed two large icebergs. Okay. Arrive Chicago via New York. Yeah, some personal. Weather good. Titanic superb ship. They arrive early. Setting these out, I suppose. Can't wait, Daisy. Aha. Uh -huh. And I have this. Yeah. Make sure I actually have this written down right. A N H Q. Spa X Web Fick X Y Yam. X Yam. All right. There we go. And 874. All right. 873 right there. Words one. All right. So we'll use this back in our little uh, our coder dealy. And we took that one with us. So that'll make it easier if we need to recall that while we're out. All right. Let's, um, let's go do that now, actually. I'm not even sure if I can fast travel to my room. That seems like a... It seems annoying, <laughs> but where am I now? All right, so we're just, uh, what, 73? It's this music, 69, 67. All right, here we go. Key out. Baby's up and going. There we go. Decode. Invalid entry. Please try again. Alright. So we want this at eight. Ah, we shot it. Eight, seven, fifth. D4. All right. And code A N. H Q S P P A A X W B. Warner Brothers at Football Club X Yam Football Club X Yam Alright Rubayat hidden in boiler room three coal shoot four SB will deliver painting uh, that's not Leonardo DiCaprio's initials. Don't remember his character's name. After pickup, we'll confirm Zytel. 
All right. There you go. Save. I feel like we made some decent progress just now. Mr. Nobody 2. Spicy music too. <laughs> ASMR, the, the clicking. Alright, where was... What deck was Penny on? F deck. Uh... Eh? Does F deck have its own soundtrack? Or is this kind of the same thing that we heard? Otherwise. Yeah, you can tell this is second class right here. The lighting's all kind of dank and depressing. The music's a bit more... I don't know. More tense. Turbine room. Control room. Oh, I feel like you made that yourself. That's not the official. What now? A passenger? I can't regulate the steam for boilers one and so I don't have time for you. You're where you shouldn't be. Get up top before you're kicked up there. No, 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 no. I can, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'll fix it. Oh, I doubt it. She's really acting up. See? Still working the bugs out. See for yourself. I'll help you. Have at it. There's a gauge showing the turbine's power out. The needle's got to move into the green zone. Over here. Over here. Oh, God. Visions of, uh... Lighthouse? The dark being? Yeah, that's really effing annoying. Is this how we're all gonna die? She's still running too rough. What's wrong? I mean, I'm a secret agent. I'm not a engineer or a mechanic or something. Let me try again. I need some advice. Here, take a look at the instruction manual. You might have better luck than me. All right, if the turbine's not working correctly, excessive knocking and steam discharge can occur. Heard that. Make the following adjustments. Increase the steam flow by turning the red circular valves oh, counterclockwise as far as they can go. Okay. Adjust the seawater pump lever halfway to three quarters open to minimize condenser pressure. Maximize heat by setting the main boiler control lever at three quarters Carefully close the steam valves while watching the turbine power output until needle moves into the green zone. Other problems with the turbine should be brought to the attention of your authorized turbine dealer. Oh, don't worry. The iceberg will make all of that seem pretty de pretty sweet by comparison. Right. Let me try There's that again. Gauge showing the turbine's power out. The needle's got to move into the green zone. We gotta turn these dealies. Hold on now. ASMR. All right, we just, all right, just gotta give it a little, hold on. There you go. There you go, wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, we're so close. I mean, I think, are we in? Are we good? 
Oh, hold on. All right, there we go. That's the sweet spot. You like that? Quite smart, you were. She's running much smoother. I'm now. a secret agent. Hey, since you were so interested, go on, have a have a peek in the engine room. <laughs> She's quite a sight. Man, I'm winning everybody over on this ship. This is great. At first, they're always like, "Get that out of here!" Then they're like, "Oh, you're willing to help me?" Everyone else on this ship has been a major douchebag. All right, thanks, man. It's like he ironed that on at home. Engine room. All right. Which which was the boiler? Was it boiler room one two? Yep. Ooh, what have we here? The fancy dress balls upstairs, mate. Ready? Check out the toff. Hey. I may be a toff, but I'm... Why is everyone shoveling? <laughs> I don't understand. That doesn't seem fun. Why would you be doing it? Why? It's the bridge. They want to go even fast. There's a shovel over there, but you don't look the type to sweat. I didn't look like the type that fixed uh, friggin' control panels, but I just did that. It's so hot here. Why are you guys here? This is grody. Just go hang out on your private island like me. Well, they're a fine sight prettier than your ugly. Better company, too. Bugger ugly off. Up top with you. Now. Ugly face. You're not in charge. I made friends with the guy who, who's actually in charge. All right. I don't even think. I think it's spoiler room three. Let's not hang out with these guys. Boiler room two to boiler room one. To boiler room three. There we go. Uh, you are a passenger. Excuse me, I would speak with you. What are you doing down here? Forgive me. I am sorry to intrude on you. A person of such high station. I am Vlad. At least someone recognized it. I can't help you, Vlad. I have many. I am leaving my home. I am a Serb, and they have killed my wife, my Damn. children, the Austrians. For that, they will pay. But I do not want to burden you. Please, I need a favor. Bring them back from I the dead. I have a friend in first class, Please. in cabin A14. Mr. Barbican has a package for me. Barbican. Can you bring it here? Why? What? Why can't you get it? Me? Enter first class like this? No. They would catch Vlad. Oh, good point. Good point. Man, you look all kinds of intense and evil, but I've done enough favors tonight. We kind of have, but uh, I, I guess we'll... His name is Barbican. You have to in check April on one of the boilers for his name? Come from Vlad. He will give you other packages. His eyes were super you red. Your assistance will be repaid many for. He's a vampire. They don't talk about that in the movie, but... There's a vampire named Vlad on the Titanic. All right, he doesn't look like that from not that far away. <laughs> he doesn't look, he looks very different when he's, when you're slightly less far away. All right. Uh. It was, uh. How do they number these coal chutes? There we go. Done. All right, so this is what we've been looking for. In our possession. You know, let's flip through it, why not? So, uh, kind of religious poetry and stuff. I don't know, it's probably like some passage we need to know for a code or something. Anyway, there we go, got the ruby at. It's exciting. Where's my, uh... Let's do it. And so let's go back to the original Mr. Nobody OG. You're leaving? Wait. <gasps> I've been looking for this. Oh, he's so evil. 
Thank you. <gasps> Good thing we're bulletproof. Oh, we're dead. All right. That's why we save often. No, we need to hide this somewhere. Uh, we can't let him know. Sneaky, sneaky. All right. We'll come back for it. We will come back for it. Back for more, are you? Wait. All right, now. Let's see what the toffs are made of. Come on, Leadhead. Are you the same guy that was in the other boiler room? You're really a jerk, Mikey Day-looking guy. Jerk? That's the best you can do. Jerk. <laughs> You're just an ugly cur. Oh, I knew it was going to come to this. You'll be fired for those remarks. No. Let's, we can sink to his level. Not as ugly as your mother. What? Nobody talks that way about me. Sod off. What? All right, they're back for a right proper pummeling. All right, now. Let's see what the toffs are made of. Oh, Come on, yeah. Leadhead. Jerk. That's the this best is just you insult can do. fighting. Jerk. You're just an ugly cur. I just trained at the gym. And you're a stupid, ugly, drunken cur. <laughs> I'm not stupid enough to feed boilers for a living. We're so classist. You're a bag of chum, son of a... Well, we don't want to bring his mom into it. I bet he would hate being called a landlubber because he's on a ship. Did you say landlubber? Mm. Why are you lying, ugly, low-down, bow-legged, yellow, drunken? <laughs> Who's all right by me? All right, stay what? if you like, but I can't mind you. <laughs> well, that was weird. Thanks, man. <laughs> Don't mention it. Ooh, me? At shift's end, I'm stopping by F-59. Her name's Sheila Acker, and she's the prettiest lass on board. She may be a steerage girl, but she's first class by me. Heard that. She is. All right, you're all right, random coal dude. I love the exchanges because they never end how you expect them to in this game. Just try walking by someone with a book and they shoot you. A lot of times, right? Get the hell out of here. Oh, wait, you know a thing or two about turbines? You don't, but you're willing to help anyway? Hang out, why don't you? Alright. Can't talk, man. It's back to work for me. Why do you. <laughs> they just clone this guy. That's the secret. That's how they afforded the Titanic. All the labor on this ship. Let's clone the sand guy. Real Mikey days, comfortably living back in London. Writing for the equivalent of the, uh, whatever sketch show they had at the time. Uh, maybe I'm going backwards here. I think we want to leave. We're just going deeper and deeper. All right. Uh, all right. Where were we going? What was... His barbecue, what was that guy's name? Did I make a point to write it? It was A. God, I'm just gonna knock on every door, aren't I? <laughs> Ugly care. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Let me check out the smoking room. <laughs> so creepy. Just touch someone and then. Welcome to the smoking room. No, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Where's the cabins? First class lounge. Yes. Uh, nothing. Nothing. Looking for Mr. Barbecue. A deck. That's gonna be to the. Boat deck, boat deck. Right, A deck. Uh, 
Uh, it's B deck though. I really, I'm not trying to poop deck. Oh, I say, what's your step? Are you hurt? Hey? No harm done. No harm. I'm so sorry. Try on my toe. We're the Ghost Joneses from Halt Whistle, you know. How are you finding you the crossing? You always finish each other's sentences. Uh, I've been pretty busy. You're English, then. I would have thought American. Oh, my, my. I didn't mean to insult you. <laughs> Can't hold a thought. Dreadfully large place, America. Super. Like as if all that space you and all those see... immigrants trying to fill it you up. You should see Texas. I was just commenting to Henry. On a white star crossing, one meets all the right people. Why we were just chatting with a delightful elderly couple in the reception. The Strausses. What? Own a small dry goods store in New York somewhere. Called Macy's. <laughs> Macy's. On D-Day. Right, Bina, must you always finish my sentences? That's what I just you said. You're as jumpy as that American chap, that photographer. Yes, he was just snapping away. Taking pictures of some German colonel and, and that Englishman. Snap, <laughs> that lady snap, has black snap. holes on right. Mark my it's words. Just, it's just what? Black holes. Beastly. Son. Will Mr. Burns have to fight? He and his wife so there's the Mr. Burns things. and a Smittles. But I do see her point. It is their honeymoon. Why he insists on snapping those photos, I haven't a clue. For God's sake, woman, talk, 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 like a madam in a Rangoon boardy house. Henry, that's unspeakable. So don't speak then. Yaps louder than a scrum of rabid corgis. Now see here, this Burns chap. If you want to see something interesting, take a look at his pictures. He's on sea deck Cabin C. Looking for barbecue right now. Good lord. Where's the cabins? There we go. What'd I say? B-50... B-51? How am I on B? Ah. A-deck cabins. A-deck promenade. A deck cabins. Ooh, this is swanky. Good lord, look at this. Looks like uh, one of the the halls in Dark Moon in the temple. Can I get some numbers here? A11, A15. All right, I'm on the other side here. I think it was 14. A14. There. Yes. Mr. Bar. Oh, that was his name. Sorry, Mr. Barbecue. You found him. Sasha Barbican of Barbican Gallery. Now, what is it that I can help you with? You know, Lady George, now I can need a package. For Vlad? He's on board? <laughs> Please come in. <laughs> he did it. I told him Looks not like to. Don I told Jr. him his ticket, but he was too proud. Such a tragedy about his family. They were with my mother's people. Just, uh... Oh, he wasn't Vlad, full of smoke? No. Here. His things. You'll be glad to get them. It's rather late. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. When Austria took Bosnia, they were killed. Many were. With his family dead, America seems as good a place as any for Vlad. His family would have hated America, I guess. Do you know Lady Our Georgia? history is quite complex. <laughs> Certainly. Georgia's a woman who does not go unnoticed. Damn right. Georgia She's includes indicated a certain that. romantic paranoia. A condition, I fear, worsened by Charles' own romance with whiskey. Georgia, have you talked to her? You be the judge. She's accused me of outrageous deeds, libelous practice. I'm part Slav, you see, a Serbian on my mother's side. Georgia finds such a mixture a source for wild stories. Continuously. One hears there are financial problems. They say Charles owes Andrew Conkling thousands of pounds. Not much anyone can do, I'm afraid. George is in clear need of a rest. Good night. Good night. And don't believe what Lady Georgia says. She's not well. Enjoy your voyage. Thanks for the package, barbecue. All right. So let's head back down to the boiler. Give this to him. And this will allow us to get by Mr. Vlad, because he'll take off. Um, can I, like, open this up? Or take a peek. Package. Thank God every Secret Service agent has uh, X-ray vision. 
Yep, you'll do well in America with that flannel shirt. Tis the style. All right, down to the... Down to the boiler room. Yeah, this is... F deck is as bad as you can get with that being in the uh, in the turbines yourself without actually shoveling coal. It's control room. There we go. Back to I guess I didn't try cutting through here before. Alright. That's that might be something we need to check out later, but yeah, that's not... I guess we gotta cut through the control room. Get to the engine room. Not the best layout, I gotta say. I don't wanna second guess the designers of the Titanic 110 years later, give or take. But, come on now. Hey man! You gonna shoot me if I give this to you? Good lord. Here you go. It's a flannel shirt. <laughs> Here's your package. I don't... <laughs> you don't want to tell this guy you don't have his package. Thank you. I must see Mr. Barbicon. I have bad news. He will not If you're going to see him anyway... I am looking for something. Something very important. But it's not here. Yeah. You have seen a small... It is of no importance. Good night. Okay. Well, it's not important. Then I'll just grab it for myself. Oh, yeah. Right, there is multiple endings to this game. Uh, multiple ways to play it. I think if we had not moved that to another hiding spot, he would have found it. So, it was good that we did that. Or maybe not good, but it just it changed, it changed the game. All right. Uh... Are even cabins here? Like, this is crazy. What does her room look like? Is she, like, sharing the space with an engine did or something? It? Did you find the Rubaiyat? Sure did. I did a whole bunch of stuff while you, from best I could tell, did nothing. Smashing. What have you learned? More art? Zeitel's no connoisseur. No, there's something about that painting of interest to the German High Command. Titanic 13th. I don't have any information about Vlad, but the other fellow, look here. Zeitel's Titanic contact is Barbecue. a new art dealer named Sasha Barbican. Yeah, talk to him. They say he smuggles art, and he's not above selling stolen merchandise. The files say he's Serbian, interestingly enough, with links to some shady Balkan groups. Bulk. Let me see. Okay. That's the Rubaiyat, all right. Well done. Hey, you're way too fancy for this deck. For safekeeping. It shall be undisturbed there. What do I do now? The painting's what Zeitel's really after. You must secure it. Where or how, I don't care. Just find it and bring it back here. Remember, leave the Rubaiyat with the purser for safekeeping. He might also know where the paintings. Sneak a peek at his cargo manifest. Uh. That should help you find the painting. Cargo stored somewhere beneath the forecastle deck. Things are thickening up quite nicely, aren't they? We've got to get our hands on that painting. Don't fail. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and comment on this video, and click subscribe if you haven't already, as this seriously helps me to keep making great content for you.